Okay, one last part of our problem. Let's say that we have found our currents and our power, and we want to find our node voltages. Particularly, if we make this node voltage right here the ground. So we're going to ground that part of the circuit. Okay, if I wanted to find my other node voltages, what would I do? I used Kirchhoff's law with my sources to find my current. What other tools do I have that I could use? Let me spread these out. What other tools do I have that I could use to be able to find node voltages? Well, I don't need the power equations. Let's get, get rid of that. My current divider gives me current. I certainly don't want that. Now, my voltage divider gives me voltage difference, but do I have a voltage divider problem? No, not really, so we're going to get rid of that one. Um, do I have resistors in series and parallel? No, not really. Let's get rid of that one. Here are my choices. I've used Kirchhoff's law to find current, and what I now want is uh, node voltage. Oh, Ohm's law doesn't give me node voltage. Ohm's law gives me voltage difference. So here's my only choice. If I have Kirchhoff's law and I found current, that means I know current. Here I know current and I know one of the nodes. If I know one of the nodes and the currents and the resistances, I can find the other nodes. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to use this equation, VA minus VB is equal to IR. So let's see. Let's suppose that I have this node, VA minus VB is equal to I times R. This is I2 times R2. I have to line my current, this current, let's put this current yellow. I have to line this yellow current up with that yellow current. So make sure that they're going in the same direction so I get my signs correct. So VA minus VB is equal to I2 times R2. Let's do that over here too for VC. VC minus VB, because this is equal to VB, it's all pink, is equal to I3 times R3. Okay, I know I2, R2, I3, R3, and I know one of these nodes, VA, is equal to zero. So I can say VB is equal to minus I2, R2, and VC is equal to VB, which I just found, um, plus I3, R3. So now I have found the node voltages. Let's review this problem. When we started out, we didn't know any of this, we were given our sources and our currents, uh, sorry, our, our voltage and current sources and our resistors. We wanted to find the currents. We did that with Kirchhoff's law. Then I wanted to find the power through one element. In order to find the power, I needed to know the uh, current and resistance. All right, I knew the current and resistance so I could find the power. Then we wanted to find the node voltages. In order to find the node voltages, we used the currents and one of the nodes. We have to know one node at least. We know one node and the current and resistance, and that allowed us to find the rest of the nodes. The way we did that is we lined up this picture with the current, and we were able to write these equations, VA minus VB is equal to IR.